Thank you. Is it all rise, please, for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alderman Dahlman? Present. Alderman Coburn? Here. Alderman Milner? Present. Alderman Dickerson? Here. Alderman Long? Here. Alderman Stahl? Alderman Stahl is absent. Alderman Stafford? Here. And Alderman Dahlman? Present. Mayor Hasek? Mayor Hasek is absent. Thank you very much. We do have a quorum. Well, the first item on the agenda tonight is ceremonial matters. Good evening. Uh, tonight we have before you uh, recognition for one of our, for several of our employees, one of my employees, uh, for doing CPR. I was contacted uh, several weeks ago by an individual from the community whose husband uh, have the CPR performed on them, and they would like to just come forward and recognize the individuals that they feel save their life. So, Carmen? <coughs> stunned by a bee on the back of the neck, fell off the roof, and went into cardiac arrest. Two of his co-workers, Jacob Schmidt and David Butler, began CPR, and Officer Paul White, who was close by, arrived on the scene and took over chest compressions. Um, we did not want their actions to go unnoticed, because if it were not for them, we would not have Rick with us as he is today. We're very grateful that they were not afraid to perform CPR, and Rick falls in a very small percentage of people who survive out of hospital, cardiac arrest, and he's in a smaller percentage of people who um, survive it with neurologic function intact. He has his memory, his personality, and we're very, very grateful for early CPR. Um, so. A special thank you to them, and we also wanted to thank all of the many other first responders, doctors, nurses, um, paramedics. I don't know if any of them are here tonight. Uh, Rick went to Cass Medical Center, was life flighted to research, and it's, it was a long five-week hospitalization and then rehab for almost a year. Uh, but we feel that God was in control, and like the conduction of an orchestra, everyone played their part perfectly. So thank you. Um, from our family, who many of them are here today. Um, do you guys want to stand up? All the modders and say, yeah. <laughs> they're here to And then Rick has special flag to give to um, Officer Paul White. And then um, we'll call Jacob up in just a minute. Do you want to read what the flag says? <laughs> okay. Well, his voice was affected too. For answering God's oh, it's presented to Paul White for answering God's call to provide me with a second chance at life on July 21st, 2014. Words cannot express our gratitude and heartfelt thanks for your heroic actions. God bless you, Rick Motter and family. T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll read it again. Right. Presented to Jacob Schmidt for answering God's call to provide me with a second chance at life on July 21st, 2014. 
Words cannot express our gratitude and heartfelt thanks for your heroic actions. God bless you, Rick Motter and family. six months, something like that. This is going on two years now. You just dumpster you've ever seen, and therefore it took a long time to fill. I don't know if they're using it for this stuff that they're doing on the square and parking the dumpster down at the house. I'm not sure. But it is full, and it needs to go. Don't know how, or don't know if you guys can control that or not, but I think it needs to be controlled. Next door to that, besides that one, 903 uh, East Pearl Street. Can't even see the house. The, the blithe, uh, the trees, the bushes, the grass, the kids' toys, the trash, everything right across the street from me again. I know that it's been an issue for the over the years, and you guys have tried, but I think we should try again. I don't know how many cars drive down the street, stop, slow down to look to see there's a house in there. And then they stop and they want to see what's in there. People walk in, they always stop in front of it because they can't believe it. there's a house in there. Uh, the house is falling down. I think it's a real issue. Never mind the 10 cats that are at, at their house. Um, that's all I got. I don't know who to talk to about it or who is responsible for it. I think we're all responsible for it. It is Pearl Street. It's supposed to be the nicest street, and it's just looking like trash, my personal opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to address the board? Mm -hmm. Seeing no one, we'll move on to the next item. That would be the approval of the minutes from the last board meeting. Are there any corrections, additions, deletions to the minutes? Move the minutes be approved as written. Second. A motion from Alderman Coburn, a second from Alderman Dickerson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. All right, the next agenda item, Harrisonville High School Homecoming Parade. Chief Hofer. Chief Hofer, you're up. Sorry, I had a phone call. That's okay. Oh. All right. Um, I'm assuming this is the homecoming parade. Yes, it is. Uh, request by the Harrisonville High School Student Council to have their annual homecoming parade September 18th from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Uh, this is the same we have done in many, many, many years. Uh, have had problems in the past uh, with violations of the parade rules. 
been much, much, much better in the last couple of years. Last year I actually went out and met with the student council. I've got that same appointment if this is approved tomorrow. I don't feel we're going to have any problems. Um, doing a much better job. The staff's recommending it. Entertain any questions. Questions? They can hand in. No throw. The problem with throwing candy is they throw it from and it falls off, it's in the street. Children have known, not here, but have been known to run out and run over by uh, vehicles or trailers and things like that. Gee, the, the Shriners have been notified that uh, they're not supposed to throw candy when they go out on parades. So, I mean, it's not just here. I mean, it, it's been all over. So, uh, I approve we I move we approve it. Second. Right. A motion from Alderman Coburn and a second from Alderman Milner. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. And the next item is Council Bill 072. The resolution confirming the transfer of representation of the City of Harrisonville from Cunningham, Vogel, and Roast to Zerger and Maurer, LLP, in certain litigation matters involving CenturyLink and its related entities regarding telecommunication tax payments. The board has taken action on this previously. It was just a motion. Uh, we received, or Maurer's office received a request back from Cunningham, Vogel, and Rose to articulate that detail and a resolution so that's why it is before you in its current form so it is yes make a motion to approve second a motion from alder builder a second from alderman stafford all in favor aye, aye. 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 opposed so council bill 072 becomes resolution r041 the next item is Council Bill 073, a resolution to adopt the Regional Multi-Hazard Mitigation Plan. <coughs> Francis. Good evening. <coughs> For you is a Regional Health Mitigation Plan that every city is required to adopt if they would like to receive federal funds in the event of a disaster or if any project that they would like to complete. We do it regionally through MARC, mid American Regional <coughs> which allows um, them to do a lot of the work, the approval process, so they bear a lot of the work. Uh, however, our staff does a lot of work in this as well, and it's updated every five years and has to be approved every five years. And we're at that point of needing it to be approved again. We have made a few changes to the, uh, the plan. Uh, basically, we took out some of the projects that have been completed, uh, most of the projects related to stormwater projects. Uh, over the uh, last five to eight years ago that have been in the process and they've been completed. So the, that hazard has been mitigated. Um, future project can always be added as well. Um, so we're just, basically it was just housekeeping on this living document. So it just needs to be approved if we wish to receive federal funding in the event of a natural disaster or a future product, products, projects. So are the projects that we're looking at, uh, is that stormwater related? A lot of those have been taken off. So those have been removed from the plan. There are still a few that are still in there that are still ongoing. But basically it's ones that have been completed and are just sitting there uh, just in the completed stage. So we pull those out and uh, the ones that are already ongoing are still in there as well. Is this, is this from the... Uh, Water, water drain and all the houses put it back there. Uh, that was funding that project? Uh, the storm water drain, all the houses and drain stuff. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Well, these are federal funds in the event of, of a natural disaster that if we want to recoup some of these funds, we have to have this and other plans in place. Um, other projects to get special funding and special grants from the federal government, uh, we have to have this plan in place too. So any of those plans do they have to come to the board to get approved to get the funding that we have to make the decision on the project? The city would, has determined what needs to be done uh, in time and um, 
they have to be go before it. If you want to do a special project, you know, that's how we always do things is we identify a project, it's uh, gone through this normal process. Uh, this allows us, if there are any special funding that is available federally, that if we're going to mitigate some stormwater issues, we're allowed to go for those federal funds for that project. It's not a guarantee for funds, but allows us to apply for those funds as well as in a natural disaster to be able to receive funds to recoup from all the loss that we may incur. Okay. authorizing the city administrator to enter into an agreement with Hanrahan Asphalt Paving for asphalt overlay services and additional construction in an amount not to exceed $150,000. Good evening, board. Uh, this is our annual asphalt overlay program. Generally in the past, we've spread this out over multiple streets throughout the town, uh, but with dwindling funds, Commercial Street is one of our major streets, something we have a high priority to keep in good shape. Um, so the decision was made, of course, with the board and the staff to apply that money and just work on commercial this year. Uh, we put out to bid the first phase, which was supposed to go from uh, basically South Street in commercial to Washington in commercial. When I put it out to bid, apparently I forgot to put a one in front of the five, so instead of bidding out 15,000 square yards, I bid out 5,000 square yards which is why you see the bids come in quite a bit under 150. Um, the price we got from the low bid was $11.60 a square foot or square yard. I've since talked to him. He's supposed to contact the asphalt company, but we will get a lower price than that when we expand this out to the full 150,000. I won't know that price until later on this week. Uh, but he was the low bid and staff would recommend entering into a contract the not to exceed price of 150,000, uh, also based on him coming back with a lower cost. Since you had two bids, did you talk to both of them? No. If he if he had said that he wasn't going to work with us on price, we would have had to talk to the attorneys. Yeah, we would do. But the other bid was 30,000. Yeah, the other bid was almost 30,000 higher. Uh, there won't be any legal problems on on getting the contract amended. Uh, the 58,000 is a lot less than the 81,000, so I, I would recommend that we motion. Make, well, I'll make a motion to approve it. Second. second. I have a motion from Alderman Coburn and a second from Alderman Milner. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. <coughs> Council Bill 074 becomes resolution 043. Council Bill 075, a resolution to the Board of Aldermen to approve change order number 6 to the Layman Construction Contract with the Highway 71291 Partners in Progress Transportation Development District in the amount of $37,799.40. Mr. Gibbs. Thank you. This change order is for quantity changes within the contract. Uh, is it for any additional work that was required? It's just they didn't have uh, the current amount of uh, temporary barriers, they had to do some Class A excavation where uh, material wasn't suitable uh, to build the road on, so they had to over excavate to get down to uh, suitable material. Uh, all of this was they had quantity, but they had the unit cost within the contract, so this $37,000 is just added quantities of uh, bid. Uh, that makes sense. And so uh, we're recommending approval. Uh, we now get an opportunity to review these uh, with our agreement for phase two. Uh, so this is it's following through with that. <coughs>
what part of this was, which agreement was this? This, this is uh, on phase one, which was the $13.6 million project with Lamings. Uh, this is just additional quantities out of that project that you would be uh, added to the project. <coughs> With this change order, the amount that the city has agreed to advance goes up to one million one hundred seventy-nine thousand eight hundred sixty-nine dollars of the one point five million dollar limit that the city has placed upon total advancements. So, by you know, ways into this project, as construction occurs, we anticipate that there will be change orders, and you know, these change orders are related to. They said you're going to have to do this many square yards of material, but actually one is came in higher. So that amounts to a, an increase in the change. Uh, storm water, storm sewer project, uh, storm end section was also included in here, and there's a variety of things. But uh, we'll continue to have you know, change orders through the end of the project. But you know, the, the uncertainties associated with doing work underground were past. So there's a little work above ground at this point. So, there's less opportunity for uh, discrepancies, but they'll still come up. And these are pretty minor. Yeah. So this money, uh, this money here is part of the one point five. That's correct. Yes. So, just so we're all on the same page, what we're really asking for here is not additional money, just basically releasing the money we've already approved. Right. services and sewer services and to establish a new solid waste collection service fee as authorized by chapter 240 section 240.250 These rate adjustments are the rate adjustments that have been discussed with the board during our budget review process
second reading to follow in, in the subsequent meeting. So there's no action. Then we'll move on to Council Bill 078, <coughs> an ordinance to amend Chapter 630, Pawnbrokers and Small Loan Establishments, Section 630.150, Geographic Limitations of the City Code regarding the location of pawn shops <coughs> and small loan establishments in the City of Harrisonville, Missouri. Mr. Gilbert. Good evening. Uh, this is actually, this was brought about by the relocation of Guns Gold and Pawn. And it's really a pretty simple uh, amendment to the city code. It takes the text uh, limiting geographic uh, placement of uh, pawn shops. Uh, it, it takes the text from a residential zone district and replaces it to an established residential neighborhood. So therefore, if you have a 48-year tract of land where nobody's living but it happens to be zoned R1, that would be permissible to put a pawn shop within 300 to that, but if it's an established neighborhood, then it would not be allowed. So we vote yes on this, right? Uh, separate conditions, <laughs> yes. So <laughs> it votes up to you. <laughs> now, we have a public hearing for the special use permit, but this is only amending the ordinance, chapter 630. This is not a zoning action. The zoning action is the next one. Oh. And I suppose you could take this up after the zoning action, action if you wish, but really if you approve one, I'd recommend you approve the other, or if you don't approve one, then. I just didn't know if there was any businesses or any residential Not that I know of. In fact, Remember correctly, the Planning and Zoning Commission, I don't think anybody spoke about it. I have a question for you, Mr. Yes. Bermuda. I was reviewing the ordinance and I noticed in uh, 630.100 there is a section in the ordinance about pawnbrokers filing reports with the police department. Yes. I would just like to ask Chief Hofer if Gun Golds and Pawn is doing that. Are they filing the required reports with the police department? The reports are filed. Uh, I'm positive that they're not filed weekly uh, as required. I think we get them periodically in two to three weeks. Make a motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to Excuse me, this is an ordinance, so it will have to move to a second reading before it's needed. Thank you. I make a motion to move it to a second reading. Suspend the rule. Suspend the rule and make a ticket. <coughs> Thank you for the clarification. So we have a motion to suspend the rule to take this to the second reading from Alderman Dickerson and a second for Alderman Coburn. All in favor? Um, uh, this I has to be a voice. Call. I have to call Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Thank, you. Thank you. Alderman Long? Yes. Alderman Stahl. Alderman Stahl is absent. Alderman Stafford. Aye. Alderman Bowman. No. Alderman Dahlman. Aye. Alderman Coburn. Yes. Alderman Milner. Aye. Alderman Dickerson. Aye. to suspend the rules, so then we move on to the second reading. Second reading, yes. So this will be the second reading then of Council Bill 07, no, pardon, 078, an ordinance to amend Chapter 630, on brokers and small loan establishments, Section 630.150, Geographic Limitations of the City Code regarding the location of pawn shops and small loan establishments in the City of Harrisonville, Missouri. Alderman Stahl. Alderman Stahl is absent. Alderman Stafford. Aye. 
Alderman Bowman. Aye. Alderman Dahlman. Aye. Alderman Coburn. Yes. Alderman Milner. Aye. Alderman Dickerson. Aye. Alderman Long. Aye. Thank you. Council Bill 078 becomes Ordinance 03329. Council Bill 079, an ordinance of the City of Harrisonville, Missouri, regarding a special use permit for the establishment of a pawn shop at 1602 North Commercial Street, Harrisonville, Cass County, Missouri. Mr. DeLuca, maybe you should just permanently stay there. Um, I believe this is public hearing, so if you'd like me to speak beforehand, I can, or if you'd like for me after the public hearing, <coughs> close, I can do that. Okay. Yeah. 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 must be there. Um, how would you recommend removing? I don't know that you're going to be able to take action on the special use permit because the public hearing process is spelled out in the zoning regulations for special use permits. So it was advertised. I don't know if anybody's here to speak on that, um, but it's not on the agenda. No, I'm on the safe side, I'm going to say joke. So hold on, why are you up here? Are we having a discussion? What impact does this have upon the business? Uh, probably about a month and a half ago, the Board of Aldermen uh, gave them permission to operate until the Board of Aldermen made a decision one way or another on this. So as far as I'm concerned, they can continue operating as is. So until the Board of Alden makes the final decision, so it, so it shouldn't. So theoretically, they're just about the inconvenience of probably being here and having to come back, but it shouldn't affect their operations, correct? Yes. Okay. <coughs> yes. But if you've advertised for a public hearing, we, okay, can, so we can re-advertise. I mean, it's a public hearing, right? Not on the agenda as a public hearing. It's on the agenda is just action. <laughs> Public hearings the opportunity for residents to speak or, or neighboring property owners to speak. And, you know, that notification being published is part of that process, but it not being a part of the agenda kind of leaves a person in a position well, where they don't know that they're going to have that opportunity. And I think Rick's right. If, if you've approved them to operate until you take action, then it's not there's not a time limit that they're going to run up against, understand that it's leaves in limbo for another 30 to 45 days. But no one should know. No. Excuse me, what kind of timeline are we looking at? For the republication? I don't remember how many days in advance of the public hearing. I'd have to count, but I think we could probably make the October that's the correct thing. That's our next scheduled meeting, by the way. I do think that does put us past the 90 days, but I was thinking it was. I don't recall that they give you a time limit. Ninety days. Ninety days. Yeah, yeah, I believe we didn't place ninety days on it because we thought we're going to have this wrapped up in ninety days. So um, that's why I was asking. I would love to get it wrapped up now, but if you're telling legally that we can't get it wrapped up now, then I don't think without it being on the agenda, that's part of the process. And so I don't think that's just My next question is going to be: What do we need to do to assure that they don't have any problems in between now and we <coughs> fix our mess? How many days? I'm sorry. 
Gotcha. I said, what do we need? To, what do we need to do now to make sure that it doesn't affect them until we get our mess fixed? I think it's a, yeah. I think the board taking action. If it is a 90-day initial uh, allowance, then having the board take action to extend that. Can we amend the original extension in 90 days? I believe that you can. Yeah, I think that's fine. That was by motion. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, it can just be a motion. Well, I make a motion that we extend your time limit. Uh, how many? How many days? We need 90 days more. Do, do we have to put a time on, or can we just? I mean, just extend it. I would extend it until until we yeah, make until it's resolved. You will have to do a 90 day. Time so I make a motion that we extend their time 90 more days. I'll second it. Okay, I have a motion from Alderman Dickerson and a second from Alderman Long to extend the time period for um, gun holds and pawn, correct? <coughs> by an additional 90 days until we can take action on the ordinance before us. All in favor of that? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you very much. And please accept our apology to everybody involved with that. All right, moving right along. Council Bill 080 is an ordinance <coughs> to approve the rezoning of a property generally located at 404 North Independence Street from C0 Non Retail Business District to R2. Two family residential district. Mr. Um, this one's a public hearing also. <laughs> Council Bill 081, an ordinance to accept the final plat of Lot 2, Meadowland Business Park, corrected plat A, subdivision of land in the city of Harrisonville, Cass County, Missouri. Uh, this is single plot subdivision, 85 acres. It was originally platted probably about 15, 16 years ago, and what they're wanting to do is correct some signatures some ownership information on the plat. Uh, it is nearly identical to the previous one. The only ones that are different, uh, the only things that are different, there is a small modification up in the corner where about an acre was sold off to the church. Um, and the floodplain information have, has been updated to the uh, recent FEMA map standards. So, uh, staff and Planning and Zone Commission recommend approval. Where is that at? It is just directly east of the Walmart Distribution Center. Uh, no, no, it's directly east. It's right, just directly east. By that church. It's not across the highway. In fact, uh, Aaron Orange is here uh, representing the applicant. If you'd like your opinion. Uh, signatures and ownership information uh, for the details as to what they need. What they need to do is to do a, a ownership transfer, and to do that, they just need to update it for more information or specifics. You probably ought to talk to us about that. Is this new about hearing? No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Any further discussion? Ordinance, and we'll have to have a motion to go to a second reading. Thank you. Thank you for keeping us on track tonight. I'll make a motion to take this 
to its second reading. And a second from Alderman Dolman. Alderman Milner. Aye. Alderman Dickerson. Aye. Alderman Long. Aye. Alderman Stahl. Alderman Stahl is absent. Alderman Stafford. Aye. Alderman Bowman. Aye. Alderman Dahlman. Aye. Alderman Coburn. Is this to uh, suspend or? Yes, sir. Aye. Council Bill 081, an ordinance to accept the final plat of Lot 2, Meadowland Business Park, corrected plat, a subdivision of land in the city of Harrisonville, Cass County, Missouri. All right. Alderman Dickerson? Aye. Alderman Long? Aye. Alderman Stahl? Alderman Stahl is absent. Alderman Stafford? Aye. Alderman Bowman? Aye. Alderman Dahlman? Aye. Alderman Coburn? Yes. Alderman Milner? Aye. <laughs> Council Bill 081 becomes Ordinance 03330. Council Bill 082, an ordinance to authorize the mayor to sign a grant agreement amendment with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission in the amount of $291,445. I believe if we may switch uh, switch items and uh, do and council bill zero eight three first as opposed to zero eight two. Uh, I'd like to see us do the the contract first before approving the amendment to the the contract. I apologize. You asked for that during work session. I overlooked that. Okay. Council bill zero eight three. Which is an ordinance authorizing the mayor to sign a contract with Advanced Brothers Incorporated for the airfield pavement maintenance project in an amount not to exceed two hundred and ninety thousand four hundred and forty six dollars and five cents. Good evening. On August twenty seventh, we had a bid opening for this project. We had three bidders, the lowest bidder being Advanced Brothers at two hundred and ninety thousand four hundred and forty six dollars and five cents. The engineer's estimate for this project is $417,205.50. So the lowest bid came in uh, well, uh, just well under $127,000 uh, for this project. This project will be funded 90% by a LODOT grant uh, that we use. We have our yearly entitlement that we use for these types of projects. This project will also use the remainder of what we have in the land as match bank, if you will. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with what that is, back when the airport was donated to the city uh, in 84, that land that was donated uh, had value to the Federal Aviation Administration because the airport has value to the entire airport system as a nation. So we have been, they've allowed us, as they do other airports, to use that land uh, as sort of our land, as our sort of local match for these projects that uh, we have been doing since 84. This, we actually only have $6,236 for Maine. So this will completely wipe out all of that, and we have set aside cash this year, this year, as we have requested as 2016, and we'll continue to do so to, uh, to pay for that as well. So uh, money, in addition, that we, that we need additionally to the land as much the cash, has already been approved in the 2015 budget. <coughs> Questions? Discussion? For James? Well, I guess the discussion question is. This is an ordinance, so it's got to go to a second reading as well. Yes, Does anybody see a reason why we shouldn't suspend the rule? Anybody? I'd like to make a motion we suspend the rule and move to a second reading. I have a motion from Alderman Stafford and a second from Alderman Milner to advance Council Bill 083 to a second reading. Alderman Stafford? Aye. Alderman Bowman? Aye. Alderman Dahlman? 
Aye. Alderman Coburn. Aye. Alderman Milner. Aye. Alderman Dickerson. Aye. Alderman Long. Aye. Alderman Stahl. Alderman Stahl is absent. <clears throat> Council Bill 083 becomes Ordinance 03330. Uh, no. I think you need another vote. We're going to read it again. Let's vote on it. All right. An ordinance authorizing the mayor to sign a contract with Vance Brothers Incorporated for the airfield pavement maintenance project in an amount not to exceed $290,446.05. Alderman Dahlman? Aye. Alderman Coburn? No. Alderman Bowman? Aye. Alderman Milner? Aye. Alderman Dickerson? Aye. Alderman Long? Aye. Alderman Stull? Alderman Stull is absent. Alderman Stafford? Aye. Thank you. Now Council Bill 083 becomes Ordinance 03330. Council Bill 082, an ordinance to authorize the mayor to sign a grant <coughs> agreement amendment with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission in the amount of $291,445. Back in July, the Board of Aldermen voted to approve uh, the original grant agreement which paid for the design services and the construction services for this project in the amount of $66,974. This agreement amends that original agreement to uh, for the additional cost of the, uh, the construction. So for a total of two hundred ninety-one thousand four hundred forty-five dollars. A motion that we suspend the rule and move to the second reading. Second. I have a motion from Alderman Stafford <coughs> and a second from Alderman Miller that we advance Council Bill 082 to a second reading. Alderman Stafford? Aye. Alderman Bowman? Aye. Alderman Dahlman? Aye. Alderman Coburn? Yes. Alderman Milner? Aye. Alderman Dickerson? Aye. Alderman Long? Aye. Alderman Stahl? Alderman Stahl is absent. Council Bill 082, an ordinance to authorize the mayor to sign a grant agreement amendment with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission in the amount of $291,445. Alderman Long? Aye. Alderman Stull? Alderman Stull is absent. Alderman Stafford? Aye. Alderman Bowman? Aye. Alderman Dahlman? Aye. Alderman Coburn? No. Alderman Milner? Aye. Alderman Dickerson? Aye. Council Bill 082 becomes Ordinance 03331. All right, Alderman and Committee reports. Alderman Dahlman, can we start with you? Well, I just wanted to thank you, thank you for uh, doing the presentation in front of us this evening. Um, it's great to see the heroes in our community, and I, uh, again, just want to, uh, you know, when we see lives saved, wow, that's really a lot to be said, that we have someone just to jump in there, so, um, it's pretty awesome. And, uh, I'm Mr. Mayor here tonight, so, that's it. Alderman Coburn. I'd like to congratulate the street department on the job they did on Pearl Street. If no one's been down there to see the uh, ceiling job, uh, I advise you to go look at it. I think it looks great. And I watched that young lady drive that oil truck down through there. <laughs> and she took it right straight down through there like she could thread a needle with a semi truck. I mean, she uh, was a great driver. <laughs> and the crew, I know they put up quite a little bit because the uh, project was supposed to be done on Thursday and they got rained out so they had to do it on a Monday and uh, they had a little bit of trouble getting the people off the street. Uh, the parked cars, some of us have a problem with 
All right. But uh, I'm glad to say we got it done. I think they've done a great job. I was just going to thank Mr. Francis, but I don't see him anymore. His staff, unfortunately, we had to use his staff um, last month, and they came out in full force, and they were very professional and very wonderful and very comforting, and um, got in and out and got her on her way, and just wanted to thank him, but I guess I'll do that later. Uh, well, I just wanted to, I know we oftentimes, probably for city staff, probably applaud them because a lot of times they get negative and they don't get the positive. This is here about the internal the office staff. I've had strength, I mean, two local business people approach me. One was doing a special use permit or, you know, having an event and the other one was just working on some business stuff and, and both of them sought me out to just tell me that how good the experience was that they had here um, at City Hall and working with the staff. And I know that there has been uh, people with concerns and complaints about in the past, so I think it's good to be hearing those things. So <coughs> kudos to the staff. Um, I don't really have much to add. I mean, I do think it's awesome that, uh, you know, Mr. White or whatever went out there and saved that guy's life. That was very heroic, which he was in my house, and I had some 911 stuff with a guy breaking in. And they done all that same stuff that I talked about that last time. So, other than that, everything's good. Thank you. I apologize that people showed up for the, uh, yeah, uh, the, the two, two items on the agenda that didn't get on there. Um, I hope city staff can rectify it and uh, do a better job the next time. I would like to share with you that I had a great opportunity yesterday on Labor Day helping the Rotary um, put up and take down the American flags. It's a program that Rotary does with area businesses in town. I mean, it's a very nominal fee that an area business can pay to the Rotary, and the Rotary will put up a United States flag early in the morning of a holiday, and then take it down in the evening of that holiday. And a business can have a flag flying at its location every holiday that there is. I think it's a great program. I was honored to be able to, to work with Lawrence Smith and put up some flags and take down some flags yesterday. It just reminded me to appreciate the holidays and appreciate the freedom that we have and to acknowledge the American workers. So it was a great holiday. Mr. Moody. Rodney's team has completed doing their sealing and chip sealing uh, program we are done we actually still have a fair amount of street or sidewalk replacement work that needs to be done yet this year and then you approved this evening the Milanova Lake project um, Rodney's uh, going to turn his attention to doing some striping so we're, we're taking advantage of the good weather yet uh, that we have so you might have noticed that they, they put the base coat on uh, the new interchange will also receive a texturing uh, to give it the appearance of a uh, stone. Uh, but uh, that project is uh, progressing along. And, you know, there's a lot of concrete work that they're doing, so they're trying to get all the concrete work done uh, yet this year. So uh, lots taking place out at that interchange project. Uh, lots of road project uh, and sidewalk projects yet to be done this year. So. Questions from the media? None. There is no executive session, so I'm going to entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. You guys always do that. You always want to go home. The motion is from Alderman, Alderman Dickerson with a second from Alderman Coburn. All in favor?